Hey mama! So, today's video is science and what we've chosen to do for our science curriculum. I've been loving everything you to do for little kids so it's not something we do every day or do too much of but I will show you we do more of a nature study we do more of a nature study than a science so what we are doing right now is these field guides and all I do all I do is open it up and we're going to work in our way since it's summer. Still almost, still summer, for a little while. Is the seashells, crabs, and sea stars field guide. And like the other week we did the Lewis Moon Snail and I just pull out our watercolors and paper, our, car, our cardstock paper. And I read this page and then they draw what they see. And Mia, can I show your paper that you did? What? Can I show them your paper that you did? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. So like this was Mia. So she watercolored it, and then I put Lewis and Snail on the top, and then I'll laminate this, and then add it to her binder with all her other illustrations. And then, like today, we're going to move on to the next one, which is flat periwinkle. So I'll read this, and they will draw it. And that is that. And that's usually, I think, what I'm planning for Tuesdays, is to do these field guide illustrations. On Thursdays is more of our, uh, ooh, careful, Mars, our more in-depth science. So what we're using is our nature and farm anatomy books. And we're starting out with the rock cycle. So I, I like this. Mm -hmm. These flaps, so I can save our spot. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm just going to read through it to read some facts about that specific topic. Or you know, when we get to this part, I'll just read some facts and then they'll illustrate it. And I'll add, do the same thing. Laminate it and put it in their note, their science notebook. So that is that. And after rocks, oh, with our rock cycle, I also had these, this rock kit that I got from the Scholastic, Scholastic Reading Club thing. So and it just comes with rocks and labels and a little booklet, some information on it, and it also came with another one with this. It's rocks and minerals and has the rocks and the names because I don't know much about rocks so that'll be I'll be learning with them on that after rocks you know my horses are my horses <laughs> my girls are horse crazy at least two of them are so far so we are going to do the farm anatomy and do a horse study and learn about horses I already know about horses yeah well maybe you learn something you don't know and I have that, and we have a whole bunch of horse books that maybe I'll do a horse unit study video on that. Whoa! So, that's, these two are our main science. And then this is our Tuesday science. These are our Thursdays. This is our Tuesdays. And I have a couple of these. I have the seashell ones. I have the wildflower ones. And the trees ones. And... That's, I mean, easy peasy. Nature, kids are, are naturally curious about our natural world. So I think that's something to cultivate. So that's all we're doing, you know. We might do some science experiments off and on. And I like to use, yeah, go ahead and give me that book. Um, this one, Mia got this as a birthday present. And we like to do some of the experiments out of this. Is the Curious Kid Science Books by Asia Citro Kitro? 
And I also have this Janice Van Cleve's uh, Biology for Every Day, for Every Kid. So we have never, we haven't used this at all, but I have it in case I want to do some experiments. And that's it, yeah. That's it, besides regular other field guides and stuff like that. So.